<laughs> okay, so now we're going to do the vertical lines. Uh, or sorry, no. We're not going to do We're going to do diagonal lines. There we go. So diagonal lines, this is an example of one of them. Uh, it's going one way. And we, I guess it's the ones that are going this way. So the deal is that I made all the lines the same length. Uh, and I started off the screen. You might have noticed that if you were starting at zero, you might have been getting sort of like only half of the screen. That's because I'm starting at zero. So this is the first line that gets drawn from here to there and the next one gets drawn and so on. So actually I started all the way all the way at the uh, negative width. Like if I keep on going back down the x-axis all the way at negative width. So however far that is for you. For me that's like negative 1000. And then the line I'm drawing is I'm just shifting over uh, one of the x coordinates. So for this one I'm adding plus one to width. You could have, I think you could put it in either one. It doesn't really matter which one you, you stick the plus one width on. I, I guess I should double check that before I say it. But you're going to shift one of the x coordinates over by width, and then it will sort of get like slanted over as you kind of push one of them down. I think it works either way. Oh, I guess that goes the other way. Never mind. Let's put it back. So in this one, I'm sort of shifting over one of the coordinates over. Oh yeah, because that's the zero one. So the one that lines up with uh, y uh, zero is getting kind of shoved over um, by a whole bunch, which kind of slants over the line. And then this one is still sticking with i. So then we can keep on going as long as i is less than width. So let's, let's, let's keep on going. If we just did it all the way to zero, then we would have stopped there and we wouldn't have kept on going because that's when um, I, I guess we'll get to to zero. So we have to keep on going all the way uh, to the end. And then if you wanted to do, I guess, the other way, if you wanted to slant them the opposite way, then we just revealed that. I just put the plus one width on the other one to slant it, slant the other point to the width, and you can get it going backwards. So now we're slanting the, the bottom one over so that it's shoved this way. And these are kind of counting out um, the, the eye. If you wanted to change this up, you could change like the spacing with them. You could change whether it's a 45 degree angle or not by changing how much we shove things over. So if we shove over width divided by two, for example, then you know it'll, it'll kind of change some other aspects of it. But we'll get sort of more, uh, you know, uh, s taller slopes, I guess, or like more dramatic slopes. You can kind of change how much you shove it over by adjusting uh, this number here as well. So there you go. Now we got striped wallpaper. If you're, if you're looking to decorate your room in a new and snazzy way, you can uh, print out tons and tons of these and, and glue them to your wall and create a, a lovely striped pattern for your, <laughs> your wallpaper. So that's doing the uh, diagonal lines. I'm going to comment that out. And then the next one's going to be getting a little bit snazzy. We're going we're gonna to leave uh, lines in just a minute, but we've got one more to do. And that's uh, this one. Whoa! Looks so complicated, but it's actually going to be very similar to your horizontal or vertical lines. So here's the deal with this line, or this pattern of lines. For this pattern, and you might get different curves, by the way. You might get a curve that goes like in the top right corner, or the, uh, or sorry, the top left corner, or the bottom left, or the bottom right. This one's in the uh, top right corner. Uh, so what's going on is one end point of the line is moving along, uh, starting at zero and going across. So one point, it's the x that's changing. The other point on the same line, it's the y that's changing as we go up. So that's what's going on in this pattern. So try kind of moving around where i goes in that line and see what you can get. If you get this, great. Uh, try to get another curve. You can actually get all four curves in one picture. And it looks really sweet if you get all of them going on. But some of them are harder than other ones. Uh, this one's probably the, the most straightforward one because you're starting at... Um, zero for both the x and the y coordinate, and they're they're both increasing, so that's not too uh, hard to do. Oh, I mean, it's pretty hard to figure out, <laughs> but it's like a little bit easier than some of the other corners. But it's where you're putting the eyes in that line that are really going to change it. So see what you can get with that uh, pattern, and we'll take a look at the answer in a bit. <laughs> 